Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The third time I'm recording this video, subhanallah. So I'm hoping this time, inshallah, inshallah, it's going to be good. I want to talk to you guys today about balancing deen and balancing dunya. Something which I think uh, a lot of us are often thriving for. Now, disclaimer, obviously, I haven't reached the level of balancing both. Now, I'm not saying I have uh, mastered the art of balancing both, but I've been trying to do both for a little while until I felt like I would share the tips that I think have benefited me and inshallah will benefit you as well. I want to start off by saying if you are not doing both, then uh, the starting of balancing both is doing both. If that makes sense, does that even make sense? I don't know. But the point I'm trying to say is if you are now, for example, working a job, you know, you're working your, your job, you're going seven o'clock in the morning, coming home at six o'clock in the evening, but you're not able to even spend 15 or 20 minutes uh, on your religion at some point. You're just not doing something. You're praying your five times, you're doing your salah, but you're not trying to grow anywhere. I think it's very important to just start. And the reason I say that is because one would say that you are somewhat, you know, trying to be consistent and just pray, right? Um, and I think that uh, sometimes it's very important for us to seek knowledge to a little bit, do something where we're growing in the religion, at least a little bit to protect ourselves. Because if you're growing, then you're continuously going up and that will help you. It will increase your iman and so on and so forth. But if you're not doing anything, it unfortunately your armor's down, you know what I mean? Like you can fall into sin. And so I would say it's very important to try to grow as much as you can but start, and this is the main thing. But vice versa, I would say, like, if you are now uh, a person of knowledge and you are, you know, uh, spending 12 hours a day, for example, seeking knowledge, uh, you know, may Allah honestly protect you guys because, you know, I know it's not easy. So, uh, you know, inshallah, you can continue to do that. But the reality is this, if you don't look after your affairs in terms of the dunya, uh, there will come a time you know, inshallah, you get married, you have children, you have a family, and therefore you have responsibility. And it's very important to actually think about these things. You don't want to be in a situation where you have a family and now you can't continue to seek knowledge because you have, uh, you know, your worldly affairs that you have to look after. So starting on both is important. I think starting is the key and, and probably, you know, probably will address a lot of people actually in reality. So start both. Now, when it comes to um, you know, the dean side, I know it can be tough. I know, unfortunately, sometimes, you know, it's tough getting a teacher. Sometimes it's, you know, so tough uh, managing around your working environment. And so uh, AMAU have started a great uh, platform, which actually is so helpful. Reliable content, you know, the teachers are really good, interactive stuff. Um, and so that's definitely a platform that I'm going to link in the description below. Check it out. Definitely sign up. If you're working a job, if you're doing your thing and, you know, you're uh, trying to manage things around, but you still want to try, you know, grow in your religion, uh, definitely a great place. Check the platform out, sign up and, you know, start. That's the main thing, start. But I would say, like, you know, do both sides. Focus on your uh, affairs as well in terms of the dunya. Because reality is, look, man, you don't want to be in a situation where you now have to start working a job and, you know, you're now... And though, by the way, working a job isn't terrible. It's fine. Like, if you have to, you have to. But... I would always say you need to try to, you know, find uh, another way out, work for yourself and that sort of thing. Having said that, if you now have to work a job after being a person of knowledge for, you know, five, six, seven years and now you're 23, 24, it can be tough, it's very tough. You're in an office, you know, I, I have spoken to people. It can be very tough. You're in an office environment, you need a job, that sort of thing, you know, just to make ends meet. You know, so I would say if you're in a situation where you're, uh, you have youth behind you, you are seeking knowledge, you know, even if it's an hour, you know, a day, even if it's half an hour a day, even if it's just thinking about something you would want to do, then at least start thinking. Don't think to yourself, I'll deal with it when I, uh, you know, leave a university or leave my education of the dean, uh, leave, you know, whatever I'm doing. And then I'll worry about it when I have to get into the dunya. Start thinking about these things. They're re it's a reality. It's important to think about them because only when you look after this side, uh, you know, in the future, inshallah, your your religion will be protected in terms of you seeking knowledge as well. Because let's be honest, man, you do need an element of money to be able to balance uh, both things uh, because you have a responsibility, I guess, to your family as well, right? I myself, look, I wouldn't really go into too much of what I do. I don't think that's actually that important. But I would say, look, starting is key. 
Starting is key and improving on your uh, improving on yourself on a on a daily, on a monthly, on a yearly basis. If you are where you were last year, then you know that's an issue. You know you want to be growing always in the deen and the dunya. Um, if you are next year, you should be telling yourself, you know what, I've done X thing. I want to do X. How can I? How can I increase? How can I do more? How can I memorize more? How can I? You know what I mean. Just always try to grow. Growing is important. As Muslims, we should always be aspiring for more. So that's what I would end with. Barakallah fiq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.